What's up everybody? Today we just got out to Walker Preserve Trail out in Santee, California. It's a great little trail uh, hidden in Santee that you can do, uh, you know, an out and back style ride. Uh, there's plenty of places to park. Bless you, buddy. <laughs> there's plenty of places to park along the way. Right now we're at the Magnolia entrance. Um, so there's obviously Magnolia Street right here. There's plenty of parking usually unless it's super busy. And then right from there you just jump on the trail. Um, as we start, we're gonna make two quick stops. One is we're gonna look at some artwork that's under the bridge. So right when you get on the trail, you're gonna make a sharp right, take that under the bridge. You can see some cool artwork down there. And then on the way back from the bridge, we've got a really, really, really long uh, rock snake. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. And then we'll just go ahead and take it all the way to the end and kind of enjoy the views as we go. Um, as you can see right now, the road noise is super busy, uh, but that goes away pretty quickly. All right, let's check it out. See, we got under the bridge here um, and we've got lots of cool artwork you can see it behind me um, there's also some in front flip around the camera uh, so make sure to check it out also uh, you know if it's super hot out it'd be a great place to cool off real quick also I'm just gonna call out real quick we forgot our helmets yeah it happens but what most importantly is my son's got his on California state law doesn't require it although I do recommend it I know someone's gonna put a comment about that so I'm just calling it out now I'll do better next time Alrighty, so we just made it about a halfway point when you're going one direction here. And essentially, um, we're at another place where you can park. Um, I don't know the name of this park. There's some baseball field. There's a, a park over here in the background. Uh, I'll go ahead and pop it up over here um, so you can use it as reference. But essentially where we're going is towards the lakeside entrance and we just came from the Santee entrance. Um, so yep, just another place you can park. And then the final parking spot will be down at the end in Lakeside and I will show you that when we get there. We just made it to another shade point. We're actually under a bridge here. Again, I don't remember the name of this street. I'll pop it up just for reference. Um, you see, you know, there's some beautiful water behind us. Lots of graffiti. Obviously it bothers a lot of people. Kind of adds to the vibe down here, not encouraging it, but nonetheless. Um, so yeah, on your ride on a hot Santee day, it could be a good place to escape real quick um, before you head back up and keep going. Can you give a thumbs up?
it to our last rest stop here for the day. Um, look up, there's a gazebo. Um, so it's not gonna provide too much shade, but it does have a bench and this beautiful viewpoint here. I'm sure if you were into bird watching, uh, you'd be able to see a bunch out on the lake. There's currently one right. Ah, no, there ish. There. <laughs> So we just made it to the lakeside portion of the trail. As you can see, we're back to all the cars. It's noisy. Um, just over here, that's the parking lot where you can park. If that's full, most likely you're not gonna have parking because it is on a busy street with no side street parking. Um, it is greeted with uh, you know, a gate here and then there's a nice little trailhead sign. Well, a trailhead sign. Now that I'm thinking about it, one thing I want to call it, when you're looking over the edge of the fence, you're actually gonna see uh, some trails down at the bottom. Those are actually closed. Uh, you can't get to them. If you find an opening in the fence that looks like a legit way to get to it, um, you're going to go down and then you're just going to run into overgrown trail. So it's not quite worth exploring. If you're into history, uh, make sure to check out all the trail signage. It describes what they use this portion of the San Diego River for. Uh, it talks about the sand mining operations and where that sand ended up going while they are dredging it. Um, so yeah, make sure to check it out. It's uh, pretty interesting um, to see what this uh, was used for. And they also have some of the equipment laying around too. All right, we just made back to the garage. And uh, that was about a 6.2 mile, 59 feet of elevation gain uh, trail. It was about 52 minutes out and back, an hour uh, if you include the stopping. And it's just a quite enjoyable trail that's in the area. So if it's something you guys want to check out, I definitely recommend it. Uh, you know the drill, this is YouTube. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, it lets me know to keep doing it, uh, especially as a small YouTuber. Um, you know, it's nice to get that feedback and, uh, you know, makes you want to keep doing more and, and put more effort into it each time you do it. Uh, I'm loving the comments that I'm getting now and, you know, I just want to keep seeing more and help everybody else get out to the trail. Till next time, see you later, Adventure Fam.